What is up YouTube? It's Ipe, for those of you guys who don't know how to pronounce my name. And today, as you can tell, and you probably already know from the title, I'm doing an unboxing video. Woohoo! That's so unenthusiastic, but anyways, I'm going to give you guys background info. Do not hate on me and before you guys even watch this video. I know a lot of you guys don't even watch my video before you guys comment. Shout out to those guys who do um, like and comment before you even watch the video, but um, for this one, you guys got to understand the story. Well, why I titled it the way it is. Well, hopefully it will make sense because I don't even know yet. So, Deluxe Distribution, you know, Thunder, Anti-Hero, Rainbow, Crooked, and Spitfire. Sick companies. Actually, I'm just going to unbox this first. Then I'm going to tell the story. Some of you guys might not even give any crap for it. So, let's do this. I thought my roommate came back, so I was kind of feeling awkward. Not that I feel weird talking in front of the camera, but in front of him, oh, I feel weird. Ugh. Man, this is some heavy duty tape, homies. Oh, it was open actually, but it was just, I guess I'm weak. Oh my gosh, it's the color I wanted. Yes. Ooh, I'm so stoked on this. Yup, my name's on the board. I write size 8, but who cares? 825, I'm not gonna write it. The reason I got it, well, you're gonna find out right now. Nothing else. Oh, damn, this is freaking... Wow. I guess the reason Robbie Brockle turned pro is because people demanded it. But this is the reason why I titled my video what it is. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... There's my name right there. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, link in the description. Dude, this boy's actually really sick. I'm stoked that he turned pro, to be honest. He really deserved it, and all these comments are like, turn Brocco pro, and I think it was his birthday, and I was just like, I just commented, turning pro tonight, and so my name's on here, which is really cool, along with a lot of popular skaters I know, like Ishad, Rx Kevins, Jake Donnelly, all those rad dudes. And I'm really stoked to be able to get this board for free. Shout out to Damon Thorley. Follow him on Instagram right here. Um, oh, upside down. Maybe, oh shoot. Maybe you guys can be like, oh, you pay send you here. Don't be asking him for free boards or anything. Uh, because there's a relationship between me and him. I don't just go like, yo, dude, hook me up with the free board or anything. I didn't even expect the free board, to be honest. So, the story is, shout out to Friend of Skate Shop for keeping me posted, by the way. They DM'd me like two or three weeks ago. Follow them too. They're a really good course case shop. They DM'd me saying, oh dude, your name's on the board. I'm like, cool. And I thought they just wanted me to buy things. And that's not how skate shops go. They don't make you buy things. It's just, that's what's so cool about skate shop. They don't go like, yo dude, what do you need or anything? They have good customer service, but the point of skate shops, they don't try to make you feel like you need to buy something. So I thought that's what they were trying to do at first. They're like, yo, dude, your name's on the board. And as vague as it sounds, I had no idea what they meant. But I was like, hey, man, that's cool. You guys got those boards in stock already in like two days. And then, oh, shout out to Ducky, man. He goes to my school, but I don't know him. His pizza part is really good. I don't know why I said that. I just, I was just, ah, oh, I got a topic. But anyways, um, so uh, now I don't remember what I was talking about. Okay. Back on track, I actually had to look over the footage just to remember what I was talking about. So yeah, they DM'd me and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then my friend Marcelino texted me like, yo, you're on the board. Um, I don't know how he figured it out. Maybe, you know, I don't even care. But I was like, what does that mean? I asked him again. And he's like, oh, your name is printed on the top graphic. I'm like, what? And so I'm like, dude, that's sick. So I hit up for an skate shop again. I'm like, oh, is my name printed on the graphic? And I asked them which one and stuff. And... They're like, oh, this model specifically. And I was kind of in contact with a guy named Damon Dorley. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry if he watches this and gets it wrong. I think I DM'd him in September asking him for his email address. And I clearly don't remember why I asked him. And I know it's not for sponsorship or anything because let's be honest, I freaking suck. But I'm not going to say I suck. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but I'm not good enough. And then he replied in like February and I'm like, well, what am I supposed to say? I don't remember what, what I wanted to say. So anyways, I just shot him an email 
saying, oh, dude, just keep up the great work. And I told him, like, oh, I really wanted to talk to you because I know it's something important, but I just don't remember what I needed to talk about. But I did just tell him, yo, Spitfire has been, like, my favorite brand, and uh, it's, like, really cool. And we kind of related how I was saying, oh, I wanted to go to San Francisco, and um, the reason I go to college is for Deluxe. I've always wanted to get a job at Deluxe working for Spitfire and designing clothes. He was like, damn, I was just like you when he was a college student. I think he said he was a college student. So I was just like, yeah, pretty much keep up the great work. And this was maybe around March. And I was like, I really want to go to San Francisco over the summer. I don't know if I have any fans in San Francisco. I'm planning to go to San Francisco if I can over the summer. I told him that too, but I mean, not because of this. I think it was before Robbie even turned pro. I was having conversations with him. So this past weekend, Marcelino was the one that told me, oh, dude, your name's on the board. So I hit up the guy, Damon, works over there. I was like, hey, by any chance, can you sell me the board cheap? Because, um, you know, I wasn't going to skate it and it has my name on it. And I just wanted it for, you know, hang it up or whatever. And it's Robert Brocco's first board. This guy freaking kills it. So I asked him if I can get the board for cheap anyway. And I was like, oh, if he can, it's no biggie. It's only $50. Well, it is a lot, but... You know, I didn't really want I just wanted to hang it up. And he was just like, hey, I'll just send you one for free. And I was like, oh, no way, dude. That's sick. So I was super thankful for that. Yeah, skaters are really cool. Well, most of them, at least. I just hope I could meet him one day and thank him for that. Um, follow real skateboards. You know, buy Robbie's board. Support him. This guy shreds. Again, follow Damon Dorley on Instagram. Oh, much love for that dude even though I don't actually know him but you know how skaters and people on social media uh, social media are it's like you know him it's like just because you know them follow them and stuff you know what I'm saying thanks for listening to anyone who did watch this whole thing like comment subscribe I post a video at least every two days thanks yo peace out